This time on Chicory's maintenance series, we have a leak in our cooling line for our stabilizer. So I'm going to investigate. Um, I ran the pump and it's coming from, uh, I believe, the fitting. So I'm going to start to disassemble this and see what I find. And I'll be back in one second. So what you're looking at here is um, this used to be an old compression fitting that I removed. And the reason I did that is this neck down to a half inch. I wanted to put on a three quarter inch hose so I could increase the flow through the cooling circuit. And I'll show you what the cooling circuit looks like in just one second. But what's happening here is this fitting, I'm just gonna show you with a crescent wrench, is, is relatively loose. But if you notice, it's moving this tube. And what I believe is happening is this tube is part of the cooling circuit. I'll show you the schematic in a second, but it, it's hard to discern from the drawing whether that is. Um, and so if I turn this, I'm afraid I'm going to break the fitting inside the cooling unit. So what I'm going to do is you can see that this has been corroding a little bit and you um, it has some buildup here, so I'm going to take a wire bristle brush and clean in here and see if I can get this fitting to break loose from this tube uh, so that I can figure out why this is leaking. It might just be a compression fitting that's, that's not sealing, but I can't tighten it because it's frozen to this tube. So I'm going to do a little work on that and I'll be back. So this is uh, a schematic of the conditioning unit. So this is where all the oil is that's in there that's pumping through. Uh, it's a hydraulic unit but it uses 15W40 and this tube you see here is seawater going through that and that's how it cools uh, the temperature of the hydraulic fluid. And this tube that comes up here, this is the fitting I'm working on right now. And what I'm concerned about, I, it feels like I'm actually turning this entire tube that goes down into the cooling circuit. And so obviously I don't want to hurt that at all. So I'm very, very gingerly working with this, trying to break it loose so that I can get it tight and sealed up. Um, but obviously this is a huge deal if I were to break this tube internally. So I'm gonna continue working on this and I'll show you my progress. So I'm doing a little bit of um, cleanup here with a wire bristle brush and I've got it clean, but you can see that it almost looks like it's fused or maybe even silver soldered. So I'm going to get a metal pick and clean between the fitting and the tube just to see if that's, I, I don't know what that is. I just have to see if that's gunk that's in there or if that's some sort of manufactured solder. I'll be back in a minute. I think that this is, so I think that this is uh, gunk I'm getting out of here. So I'm using a dental tool and I can get down there a little bit. So I'm going to spray a little PB blaster to see if I can break loose some of this oxidation or rust or whatever it is. So here's a little bit of an update. So you can see that the other compression nut was taken off. So what I did is this is the compression sleeve that was on it. Um, so I, I shimmied that off and then I took the nut off. And then you can see I have a... Um, uh, punch in here. The reason I have the punch in here is because this is such a soft um, Cooper Nickel material that if I put a pipe wrench on it, it would just crush it and twist it. So I needed something on the inside to be able to give it resistance. So what I did is I put this little teeny pipe wrench on this so that it could squeeze against the punch and then I took a crescent wrench uh, happens to be an inch and a sixteenth and I have uh, combination wrenches up to an inch so I had to use a crescent wrench um, and I went on the nut and voila it broke loose so now I'm going to take this off and I'm going to see if I can see if it's loose enough or if I have to continue doing that Gonna take this off the rest of the way. So, 
And this looks like it's some sort of compression fitting as well, but I'm going to have to investigate further. But the good news is I'm making progress. So I've taken off the compression fitting. So there's uh, the, the nut that you saw before. And it has a compression sleeve that has, I don't know if you can probably see inside there, but there's serrations inside. So this slides on here, and this is, um, serrations are kind of hard to get on. So I'm going to put that on in a second. And then inside here, there is um, a uh, tapered that matches the taper here and it compresses this and grips it and holds this uh, Cooper nickel tube from moving. So I've inspected underneath it and cleaned everything up. The uh, tube is still in good shape. It was not leaking from there. So I'm going to reassemble this and then reassemble everything from the top end and put it all together. And I think it's gonna solve the problem, but uh, I was glad to see that I was able to fix this and clean everything up and there was no issue with the Cooper nickel tube. So I'm happy where we are and I'm moving forward and I'll be back in a second. Okay, so um, everything's put back together. This is tightened down nice well. I put this um, compression sleeve back on and uh, this compression sleeve just fits a three quarter inch hose over it. Um, but I want to hold this in place and give this um, like an adhesive line thing. So now what I'm going to do is I have some three to one adhesive line shrink tubing that I'm going to shrink on there and I'll show you when I'm done uh, how that works. Okay so the last time you saw I had the little um, compression fitting on there and I was showing you how the hose fit. So this is uh, shrink tubing and I think you can probably see that the um, adhesive has oozed out. So this is completely glued to this uh, Cooper nickel tube and it has a rib there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to slide the three quarter inch hose on. You can see it's a nice tight fit. I'm trying to get it over that. So then I'm gonna have one hose clamp on the bottom side of that um, compression fitting. I'm just gonna loosen this a little bit. And then I'm going to have one that's just right above as well. So you can see the bump out here where that compression ring is. So I've got a clamp above and below and everything's sealed up. So now I'm going to turn the pump on and I'm going to see if we've solved the leak. Ready? Yep. So Tracy's in the engine room right now and she's flipping on the pump. The pump is running now. And I don't know if you can see it, but there's water flowing through here. There was just some bubbles. But. So now the whole system is pressurized. And the reason that I had noticed this is I just did an oil change. And when I started the engine to warm it up before I did the oil change, when I went down to do the oil change, I saw spritz of water coming this way. Um, so obviously it was a pretty decent leak and now it looks completely sealed up. I am very happy with this So I'm going to say that this is the end of the video. Thank you again for watching Commenting liking and subscribing until next week. We'll see you